and welcome back to my channel are you looking for something easy to cook your kids i got it for you we're gonna make chicken ranch sandwiches get yourself some hidden valley seasoning it doesn't have to be in this little pretty canister it can be a little packet let's do this hidden valley ranch seasoning panko one drop i bought scallopini chicken breast cutlets they're already thin but if you don't have this butterfly yours your chicken breast butterfly like just slice it in half and then you're gonna pound it out or just get this because it's easier let's make our life easier so weak now i'm gonna wash my hands right quick one sec all i did was sprinkle a little bit of tony's creole on both sides of the chicken breast now i'm just gonna set that aside while i'm getting my assembly line going i sneeze every single time i use this so wait for it this is flour is one dry you cannot make mistakes with this flour you can use all-purpose flour no big deal but i would suggest getting this because foolproof boom panko breadcrumbs that's all it is plain panko and i'm going to use a little bit of hidden valley ranch so i do not normally measure but because i've been blogging lately as everybody wants to know measurements i'm doing this for you so look tablespoon that's it and i'm gonna put i don't even know that's a whole tablespoon in here as well oh yeah let's do that tablespoon tablespoon a tony's creole for a little bit of delicious kick a little creole kick next thing i'm gonna do just kind of whisk this up a little bit you don't have to get a whisk just mix it it's not a big deal do the same thing over here some pecorino romano into the breadcrumbs that was two tablespoons i'm using paper plates because i'm lazy as hell because it's a weeknight and i'm not going to be washing that many dishes and you can always recycle for our egg wash i'm just going to put two eggs I'm washing my hands we're going to put a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and you're gonna get your favorite hot sauce and spice up your life. Boom. That's gonna be good, honey. It's just gonna be a little kick. What is your favorite hot sauce? Mine is Louisiana. I like um, Frank's Red Hot. I like Cholula. But I don't know what it is about Louisiana. I just love it. Assembly line. Here comes the fun part. Because we're gonna go like this. Flour, egg wash, panko. That's what I'm gonna do. Make sure you have a plate ready to lay it on. So you're gonna dredge it, shake it off, shake off the excess, dredge, and then you're gonna drippity drip. We're gonna press it in. Press, press. So good. Okay, look how gorgeous, gorgeous. And just set it on another paper plate. There we go. I'm just gonna do it three more times. Press, press. That's it. Gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna wash. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna show you how I fry it to perfection. I put a few tablespoons of vegetable oil in here. Canola oil is fine. I'm gonna add some butter. You're going to want to use vegetable oil or canola oil with the butter because if not, the butter will burn. And we want the flavor of the butter, but we don't want the flavor of burnt butter. So, so I'm gonna bring this up to temp. A second. Perfect. I am at about a medium heat. And I'm gonna take my chicken and in it goes. And we are not going to mess with this chicken. We are gonna let it do its thing because we want a nice golden crust. And the only way we're gonna achieve that is if we do not mess with the chicken. The chicken shall not be messed with. Chicken doesn't play any games. Leave it alone. This has been going for five minutes. I've been at level seven, so a little bit more than medium. Let's take a peek. Okay, look at that. Hello. Okay, what did he do? It's about five minutes on each side because it's scallopini chicken. It is cutlet, so it doesn't take that long. Five minutes each side, maybe seven. There we go, a little flip. And there we go. We're gonna let this sit for about another five minutes um, faster once you flip it. So 
We're gonna give that a little bit, like five minutes. Look, beautiful. I'm gonna take her on out. I set up my hamburger buns. I prefer brioche rolls, but I do not have them right now. I had hamburger buns. They look like this because I buttered them. And I left my butter on the stove so it would get a little bit soft because you know it's hard to spread real butter. I have shredded cheese here. You can just use cheese slices. I was out of cheese slices. So I just had this Monterey Jack block and I shred it. It's better to have real cheese than pre-packaged shredded cheese because it has that wax on it. I set my oven to broil. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put these in, but I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna put it on the top rack. And I just kind of, I usually leave mine cracked open a little bit like this so I can make sure that it's not burning. It's only gonna take like a minute or so, that's it. Perfect. I'm gonna leave my oven set to broil because I'm gonna add the chicken, the cheese, pop it back in for another couple minutes, and then party time. Gorgeous, listen, fabulous. Careful, this pan, it's hot. Add our chicken. Oh honey, this is gonna be a big chicken sandwich. I could actually cut these in half, but guess what? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make them big and glorious. Your cheese, just lay that on, lay it on thick. Oh my gosh, so good. I almost forgot to tell you, the top buns, you gotta leave the top buns off. Don't broil the top buns. Just, just the bottom bun and the chicken goes in. What, where are you? Look. Perfect. Delicious, now we assemble. I like pickles. And boom, look at that. And we're gonna top it. And there she is in all her glory. Take a look. Now we're gonna take a taste. Hey, thank you guys for joining in. Don't you eat that, I gotta eat it on camera. Ciao. He's eat. okay. My son's eating mine off camera. So there's a big bite taken off. That's okay. Let me show you. Mmm. <laughs> Look at how good. Make this. Don't be afraid of the seasonings. Don't be afraid of all the hot sauce. It's not hot at all. It's so good. Unbelievable. I'm not even playing games with you. Make it the way I made it. Mmm. And subscribe. Like the video, comment, make it, comment back, tell me how you like it. And what's your favorite hot sauce? Okay. Bye.